Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Dominique and I make motherhood and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. So I am just sitting on the floor right now, big chilling before I have to go to work. I dropped off the kids at school this morning and the weather is so gloomy and cloudy and cold and it's, uh, it's reflecting on how I'm feeling today. Can I just say, being a mother, is such a thankless job and to give you a little bit of a context behind me saying that yesterday i woke up early in the morning i made the kids breakfast i packed nadia lunch then i dropped them off at school then i come home i clean up the house put the dishes away and just you know do the things that i do all the time that goes completely unnoticed in this home by my children i muster some energy to brush my teeth and fix myself up a little bit make myself some coffee and go to work so i'm picking up nadia and nathan from school and i am a hundred percent sure that i am not the only mother who has heard this before but basically Nadia tells me randomly out of the blue as we're driving I want to go and live with my dad when I tell you the hurt that I felt when she just randomly and sporadically said all of that after doing everything for my children and they have you don't they don't even have a clue as to the internal struggle that i'm going through and the other things that i'm dealing with with the baby daddy which i haven't talked talked about quite yet i will in a later video but that's beside the point the thing is for her to say that it honestly just it bothered me being a mother is such a thankless job. How are you going to want to go and live with your dad or the dad's the favorite when he wasn't even here for the last two years? I'm the one who did all the work. It just baffles me so much that us as mothers and even more so I feel like single mothers, we just get this backlash and this unsupportive mentality and getting punished if i should say for being the parent that stayed for being the parent that stayed and took care of the kids when the other one just up and left and wasn't there to pick up the mess and to handle business and it continues to just blow my mind that and maybe it's just temporary i'm hoping that it's just temporary and maybe when the kids get older they will realize the parent that was here which was me and the parent that put in the effort the one that was there at the back to school nights the one that was there helping out with homework late at night and the one who was trying to work around her work schedule full time and then still be there for her kids and pick them up from school make healthy food to make sure that they're eating properly make sure that they have clothes that fit them so that they're not getting bullied at school because they don't have decent clothes to wear and just a multitude of things taking them to doctor's appointments just everything 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 and I just honestly think it's completely unfair that the parent that's not here, the parent that doesn't have to worry about any of those things, the parent that doesn't do anything, is the favorite? Like, how? Oh, I know how. Because they don't got to do all the work. They don't got to do the raising. They just get to be the fun parent. The parent that shows up sometimes and you just have to do the fun things. You don't have to worry about raising these actual children. And to me... It's like, it must be real nice. It must be real nice that you only have to pick up the kids every other weekend, if you even do that. And you don't have to worry about who's going to pick up the kids from school while you're at work in a full-time job and can't get off. It must be nice that you don't have to worry about who's going to be making dinner tonight and making sure that these kids did their homework and they're doing well in school and succeeding academically. It must be nice to not have to worry about raising decent human beings when all you got to do is just play and have fun with them sometimes and take them to the park and do all the good stuff and the fun stuff. It, it's just genuinely in the end of the day being a mother is a thankless job and I understand that but I'm a human being and my feelings get hurt so I just wanted to kind of like release that here and express myself and also get 
a conversation going because I am 100% sure that I am not the only one <laughs> who either feels this way or is going through it. So what I ended up doing is just kind of letting Nadia know, you know, that hurt my feelings. And I do a lot of things for her and she needs to be a lot more grateful for the things that mommy does for her. And you know, I say, I told her, I was like, mommy makes you your lunches, mommy makes you dinners, I make sure that you have a good shower, and I brush your hair, and you're clean, and we have, you know, your teeth that are brushed, and we go to the dentist to make sure that your teeth are taken care of, and the doctor to make sure you're healthy, mommy does all of these things for you, and... I mean, she's six, so she probably doesn't <laughs> care, or she thinks that these things are normal and it's just how it's supposed to be, but at some point, I'm kind of feeling like I'm raising like an ungrateful little child. <laughs> Nathan, not so much. Nadia, definitely. So if anybody has advice, or if you would like to leave me a comment down below to let me know, one, I am not alone in this manner. You are also going through the same thing or have been through a similar situation, and two, what do I do? How do I approach a situation? Do I just kind of just ride it out and, you know, when she gets older she'll appreciate me and just deal with the moves right now? Or confront the situation and explain it to her? And I will say, from my first child, I always had an open line of communication with him until this day. I still communicate with him 100%. And I do it in, you know, to their age you know, their their age and the capability of them understanding and processing things by their age. So, and I feel like Nathan, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job with the communication with my son. He's very open with communicating with me and, you know, processing information that I give to him. And I haven't taken that approach with Nadia and I'm thinking maybe I should start to maneuver my way into doing that. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Honestly, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. Do I just suck it up and say, hey, being a mother is a thankless job. Get over it. Deal with it. And then maybe she'll appreciate me later or have a conversation. Let her know that hurt mommy's feelings and it wasn't a kind thing to say. <laughs> and to be more grateful. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really hoping that today is not a busy day at work. Yesterday it wasn't so busy, which was so nice to kind of just work a little bit, chill a little bit, so we'll see. We'll see if today's gonna be something similar. <laughs> break of the day and I need to eat something because <laughs> um, I had to modify my lunch schedule so I could be able to utilize that time to pick up the kids and I never really have time to like eat lunch anymore because I have to hustle and pick up the kids from school and bring them back and um, I don't know if I told you guys this before but it literally takes an hour of my whole lunch for me to go pick them up both of them and then drive back home so turnaround type of an hour to complete all of that and I just don't have time to eat. Anyways, so a lot of you guys are in the same situation as me or similar and you're single moms that you're working from home and you're doing everything to take care of your kids and I got a lot of like great advice and opinions and ways to kind of handle the situation here for myself. So I really appreciate you guys leaving me comments and words of advice and wisdom and kind of like Ooh, giving me an idea of what options I have available to me. Um, one of the things, which I've been doing this anyways, when I pick up the kids, like I'll just grab myself something like a sandwich and then drive and eat on the way to picking them up and everything like that because I have to get right back to work as soon as I get home. Literally, it's an hour to the T, so I have to get right back to my schedule. But anyways... So another thing that I was looking into, I got some really great comments. There was something in regards to split shifts, which I hadn't necessarily looked into, or freelance work where you're working for um, a period of time with an end date and then you kind of just keep hopping, I think, to different jobs. I think that's what freelancing is, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I like the idea of a split shift. Like for example, today, 
is minimum day for the kids. They have a minimum day every Wednesday and they book it out at different times. And so what I did is I inadvertently did a, a split shift here where I kind of had to take some hours off of work of unpaid time so I can utilize those time frames so I can go and pick up the kids. And I've, I've done that for in my schedule for the next month or so because um, I told you guys we're transitioning back to the office roughly in like October. So I gave myself like this month to, you know, use unpaid time so I can pick up the kids on Wednesdays. And then I was able to modify my schedule for my lunches so I can use my lunch time to pick them up. Like the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday that they're not on minimum days. And that's been working right now. But again, I don't know what's going to happen when I go back to the office because I work really far. So we will see, it's still a process and I'm working through it, but this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, like the struggle that I'm going through right now, trying to be here for my children and I don't get no love. I don't get no love, really? I'm not the favorite? I deserve to be the favorite. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but like I really do. This is so stupid. I deserve to be the favorite. I do all the work. <laughs> I'm the mom. I'm the one who is here with babies when they're sick and I'm the one who has to raise these kids to make sure they're decent human beings. I deserve all the love. And I know a lot of you are probably like, you don't deserve nothing. <laughs> you don't deserve anything in this life. This life don't give you nothing, you know? And you just have to just put in the work and deal with it, which I get, but I can, I can be a brat right now because I was just not in the mood and I was just super sad because I'm a human being and my feelings were hurt. They still are hurt, girl. I be harboring things like, okay, that's how you feel? Okay, <laughs> make your own dinner then. And then there's these dishes that need to get taken care of. Honestly, girl, I'm gonna leave them here. I'm gonna let Nate put these dishes away. I'm gonna let him put these dishes away because I'm not doing it. Since y'all aren't grateful for me, then you can put these dishes away for me. Since these kids aren't grateful for all the work that I do, I'm gonna show them what it's really like to be a single mom. <sighs> this will be a good lesson for my children to see exactly how much mommy actually does for them. I'm so exhausted like how long do I have to do this like why can't I just be born rich <laughs> I kind of just want to sit down in a nice hot shower and just be big chilling I don't want to do anything I don't even want to cook like it's about to be fend for yourself night <laughs> but I do have a bomb dish for dinner that I'm excited to cook I do want to eat it and I have to actually get up and prepare it if I do want to consume it. We are gonna be making Asian stir fry. I think it's super easy. It's gonna be a quick dish because, oh my gosh, during the week, actually just like all the time now lately, I just need quick, fast, easy food. Anyways, Nadia is also in the process of writing me a sorry letter. She's given me like three letters so far and I just don't feel it. I don't feel her apology, you know? One of them is just like, I'm sorry, please forgive me or I'm sorry for this. But I'm like, but are you really sorry? Or do you just want to go play outside with your friends and you don't want to be in trouble anymore and you don't want to dust and you don't want to fold clothes and you don't want to just, you know, have this tension in between our home, right? So I need to know that she truly is sorry and understands what she did wrong. So she's writing me a little letter and drawing me a nice little picture and putting her best effort into it so I know that she's actually apologetic for what she said to mommy because she truly hurt my feelings. She really did. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of YouTube magic here. I'm gonna prep this food in about three, two, one. Ta-da! All prepped and ready to go. All right, so we're gonna go in with some sesame oil here, about a tablespoon, which is all I have, so we'll use the whole thing. Alright, 
So these are cooking through and right now I'm just chopping up the oyster mushrooms. And if you haven't had oyster mushrooms, they're so good. They literally, if you are looking for like that meaty texture without actually eating like chicken or something like that and looking for a different healthier alternative, definitely try oyster mushrooms. They just have the consistency and the texture of chicken and it's so good. So I literally wouldn't be able to tell a difference, I feel like. Nadia thinks that this is chicken, but it's not. So we're going to put some paprika, some pepper, salt, alright so now we're going to make the sauce, we're going to put 2 thirds cup vegetable broth, 3 tablespoons of tamari, also, if you're wondering, tamari is essentially just kind of healthier soy sauce. Um, the soy sauce isn't really that good for you, so if you want a better alternative, go for tamari. Uh, reduced sodium is what we prefer. And then also try coconut aminos. That's really good too. All right, then you're going to want to go in with some ACV. This is so good for your gut health. Definitely shake it up before you use it because all of that good stuff and like healthy probiotics is at the bottom of the vinegar. So you want to mix all that in. About two tablespoons, one. It's about two tablespoons. We're gonna add two tablespoons of maple syrup for sweetness. And then we're gonna go in with a tablespoon of arrowroot powder. Um, this is a better alternative than cornstarch because cornstarch is super modified and not good for your body. So go in with some arrowroot flour. It acts exactly the same as cornstarch would, but it's so much better for you. So a tablespoon of that to thicken it up and whisk it all together. So now we're going to cook our noodles. I just have some linguine noodles but if you have rice noodles or any other noodles that you want to use or prefer definitely go in with that but i think linguine is going to be pretty cool so let's pour our sauce in there yum that looks so good look at that all those veggies and the sauce yum so nadia wrote me an apology letter and she drew me a picture of me and her holding flowers. She said, I'm sorry because I said I want to move out. <laughs> and I love you because you take care of me and buy me shampoo and you feed me. So you want to know what the picture is? It's you and me and I'm giving you the fla flowers. Well, I appreciate that. And... I appreciate your apology letter and I would appreciate it if you also appreciate me. I do appreciate you now. So now? You but you should have done that before all the time and appreciate and be grateful for the things that mommy does for you and I take care of you because that hurt my feelings what you said to me. I didn't mean it. Okay, well, you need to be careful with the things that you say because you could really hurt somebody's feelings. So you need to think before you say something all the time. And you need to, you need to say to yourself in your head, hmm, will this hurt that person's feeling if I say it? If you think that it will hurt their feelings, then you shouldn't say it. I ended up switching out the pot because the other pot that I had was way too small. But anyways, look at her. Doesn't she look so bomb? Like, oh my gosh, it looks delicious. I cannot wait to dive into this. Mm -hmm. 